Okay, another topic is synchronous induction motor. What is synchronous induction motor? We have seen already seen in the first unit and second unit, even in third unit induction motor. In the fifth unit, we have seen synchronous motor. So, what is this when we synchronous induction motor? See, uh, the advantage of synchronous motor and the synchronous induction motor is taken into account, and we have created a motor that motor is called synchronous induction motor. What is the main advantage of synchronous motor? It will run at constant speed. That's the main advantage of synchronous motor. Okay, what is the advantage of induction motor? Induction motor, we know already we know there are two types of induction motor one is cool gauge induction motor, other one is slip ring induction motor. Here we have taken slip ring induction motor. For slip ring induction motor, the resistance can be added. Okay, resistance can be added. If I add the resistance, the in starting torque can be increased. So, this is synchronous motor, constant speed, high starting torque. So, yeah, where, where we need high starting torque with constant speed. There we can use this type of motor, synchronous induction motor. So, that, there also we are using which type of induction motor? Slip ring induction motor. By having slip ring, we are adding some extra resistance. What is the need for adding extra resistance? For increasing the starting torque. So, we know that torque is proportional to this square. This one comes into picture at the time of starting. So, torque is proportional to R2. So, start is starting torque, okay, equal to proportional to R2. Okay, that's the thing. So, where we need high starting torque as well as constant speed. There we are using synchronous induction motor. So, what is, what is, how we are performing this thing? This is normal slip ring induction motor given with three phase supply. Okay, it is having slip rings. This slip ring is directly connected to a D, TPDT, triple pole, double through. One through is this side, another through is that side. Okay, right side. Okay, uh, triple pole, double through, triple pole, one, two, three, four. So, when starting, what we had to do, we had to connect this side this side we have to connect it that is we have to connect like this thing like this we have to connect it okay so this is connected we are having high resistance with this thing we have to start it so now we are having high resistance general concept concept of slip ring induction motor with high resistance we have to start it so since the resistance is very much high and it is short circuited so the target is proportional to r2 because slip also won't come into picture because slip will be equal to one at the time of starting target is proportional to r2 so we will get high starting torque so then what we have to do we have to move, move this thing move this thing simultaneously so what is the speed of the motor will run, the rotor will run slightly less than spin, uh, synchronous speed. That is sub synchronous speed. It is a slip ring induction motor, just a slip ring induction motor. So it will run at less than synchronous speed. Then finally, we have to make it like this thing. Okay, make it like this thing. So there is no resistance is added. Now, this uh, rotating magnetic field is running at synchronous speed. This uh, index uh, in between rotor is running at uh, n, n. So the difference is n s minus n so this is the rotor is inside this is normal uh, running as a slip ring induction motor net after running what we have to do we have to throw the dps switch to this side to the exciter side we have to throw it the main thing is that we have to connect this slip rings like this thing like this we have to connect it when i connect like this thing what will happen for through three things link the current the supply will go here one part of supply will go here one here point five here point five this point five percentage point five percentage will get into converted into one like this uh, system has been arranged this supply will go to the exciter the exciter will convert ac to dc and it will give supply to the where it is through slip rings again it will to where it will give it to the which machine AC, which is going to the rotor if it is giving supply exciter is giving supply to the rotor so what the rotor, rotor is rotating, rotor is slightly rotating, less than synchronous speed. This is the rotating magnetic field will rotate at synchronous speed. Rotor will rotate less than synchronous speed. Since it is exited, is giving supply to the rotor. Rotor will con convert it into, it will energize. That will, it will convert it into magnet. So magnetic lock will occur. So this will also rotate, rotor will also rotate at synchronous speed, NS. Because this difference in speed, this is rotating, and already it is rotating N. This is rotating at, so this is rotating magnetic field is rotating at NS speed. Uh, slippery English, rotor is rotating it slip end speed so differences will be very low once if i give supply automatically what will magnetic locking will occur so this will rotate at synchronous speed so both are rotating at synchronous speed so now it is acting as a synchronous motor synchronous motor so it will be constant speed so here i constant speed constant speed also we are getting as well as what the thing high starting torque also we are getting so this is synchronous induction motor what is the advantage of this thing Adv main advantage is thing no separate starters is required if you go for synchronous motor we need starters because the rotor has to achieve synchronous speed here no no need for going for starters because here rotor resistance is lacked as a starter similarly if you go for slip ring induction motor there also we need starter star delta starter any one type of starter here we are using same thing we are using which, which thing we are using we are using a rotor resistance starter we are using 
okay the start so no separate starter is used so what is the application of this thing application where we need constant speed as well as high starting torque this type of things we can go for this switch motor synchronous induction motor okay okay this thing this is a four mark question okay uh, advantage uh, what about normal uh, advantage means we can be uh, constant speed, high starting uh, high starting torque also we can uh, achieve as well as start uh, constant speed also we can achieve uh, that is advantage disadvantage complex com complication of uh, sorry this thing very costly uh, all those things okay another one is the final thing is comparison between synchronous motor and induction motor that's the main thing comparison two things we have in the first unit second unit third unit mainly first and second unit we have seen induction motor motor and fifth unit we have seen synchronous motor so what is the main difference so induction motor and synchronous motor this will always run at less than synchronous speed okay this will always run at which speed synchronous speed this will always run at less than synchronous speed induction motor this will always run at less than synchronous speed that's the main thing okay here any, any starters are required here starters are required starters are required because what starter means which type of start means we have to start the machine to synchronous speed. rotor has to achieve synchronous speed here no starters are required no need for going for starter okay that's the thing then rugged in construction uh, free maintenance free many things are there many advantages we are having in induction motor maintenance very free here frequent maintenance is required many advantages in induction motor. very rugged in construction induction motor synchronous motor it's not like so complex circuit many things are there okay but only thing is that this can be operated at over excitation because that rotor can be excited separately so this can be operated under over excited that is called synchronous condenser that that is possible in synchronous motor but this is not possible in induction motor okay but normally 99 percent we are going for only this type of induction motor only in the industries and our uh, irrigation mark those things synchronous motor only for constant speed applications we will go for synchronous motor okay